Hi, welcome back to another video. You join me here in the city of Hamburg in Germany and I am out with my camera without a plan of any sort. I've picked one area of town to walk through, to spend a couple of hours in and just went out to see what I can find. And today I also want to talk about how you can improve your approach to street photography or any kind of general photography for that matter by just following a couple of tips. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, what do you actually want to shoot? Or how do you find out what you want to shoot? Ideally, you already have a good idea of what works for your photography. However, a lot of the times we sit at home, we think about what we want to shoot, we look outside, the light is rubbish, you're not inspired, and you leave the camera on your shelf where it shouldn't be, <laughs> and you stay at home completely discarding the idea of having a couple of hours worth of photography. So what I like to do is to just go out with any preconceptions without a plan and just have a rough idea of, let's call them triggers that I look for. And this is really only to get the day going. This can be something like bright colors. It can be something like hard contrast, pockets of light, whatever you fancy. And you'll find a good indication of what works for you by just looking at your previous work. And that can already give you a good idea of what works for your photography. But if not, you know, if you look at your work and there's nothing there that inspires you or that you can kind of a pattern, can see kind of a pattern that's evolving or not, then just use simple things, you know. Start with easy. Don't put pressure on yourself before you've even gone out or picked up your camera. So for me to actually get to a point here, that's bright colors, right? I've talked about this in, in previous videos and I know it works well in good lighting or harsh lighting conditions like we've got here today in Hamburg. And this is really only to get me started. So once I've got a couple of shots in the bag, like these ones here from earlier today, I don't really need to focus on this exact trigger. You know, I can just be free and just let the world around me affect me or not. You know what I'm talking about? So doing that will make it a lot easier to just get the day started or to initiate your photography outing. So we've come to one of the best viewpoints in the city, in my opinion, at least, which gives you a great view across the harbor area. It's one of the few elevated places you can get to in Hamburg because it's mostly just very flat around here. Okay, tip number two. It's uh, less of a tip, 
but more of a call to inspiration and to persevere. So let's say you actually picked up your camera, you're out in the streets or you're out in nature, it doesn't matter. And you feel super inspired and motivated only to realize that you're not getting anything usable within the first 30 minutes. And this is something that happens a lot. And I think that happens to photographers regardless of skill level. And therefore, don't beat yourself up about it. You know, don't put your camera back into the bag where it just came out from. Keep it ready, persevere, stay outside, walk around a little bit more. And in most cases, you'll find something worth shooting sooner or later. Tip number three, don't be too hard on yourself and your photography, obviously. It's completely normal to spend a couple of hours during a day or even throughout a whole week and not come away with anything you deem as portfolio worthy, especially in street photography where you don't have subjects or obvious subjects popping out at you left, right and center. So relax a little. It's not bad if you don't take portfolio worthy images all the time and focus on the positives. And that brings me to tip number four. Being out the whole day, you've already done something for your general well-being. You've uh, wrapped up a couple of steps. You've trained your eye, so you progressed in your photography, even though you may not realize it immediately. And even those two things are already well worth it to have spent a couple of hours outside. Tip number five, make it a conscious effort to actually build a habit of going out with your camera. That can be or start with bringing your camera when you're on your way to work or back from work. That can be having your camera with you when you go out visiting family and friends, things like that. And it can go as far as treating photography like a workout, for example, where you've got fixed days where you just go out for an hour and over the repetition, you build up a habit that can then lead to you getting out more easily and more consistently. <laughs>